thank you so much for coming to the Chromatica Ball and we really tried to finish the show tonight in Miami but we couldn't Lady Gaga is sharing an emotional message for concert goers after she was forced to end her Miami concert early. The stupid love singer cut the final tour date of her Chromatica Ball World Tour short due to inclement weather. In an Instagram video after the show, Gaga explained how nearby lightning strikes made it too dangerous to go on. Even when the rain sort of stopped, there was lightning that was striking right down to the ground so close to us. The pop star went on to explain that for her, looking out for the safety of others comes first. Look, I, I, I know that for a really long time, I, I, I've always wanted to be like that hardcore bad bitch, but what I really want is to also be responsible and loving and I don't know what I would do if anything happened to anybody in the audience or to any member of my crew, my, my band, my dancers. Gaga also held on to a bouquet of roses, which she'd received from a fan in the crowd. Whoever threw these to me on stage, I will cherish them forever. It took so much in my heart to get back to a place where I could perform and be healthy. And I hope you know that part of why I decided not to finish the show was because I am healthy and it's a healthy decision for all of you and for myself as well. Chromatica is about healing and Chromatica is about knowing that you're enough. And I feel like enough tonight, even though I didn't get to finish, I really feel like enough. Gaga also shared a tearful selfie and captioned it in part, Sure, of course, I wanted to sing Rain On Me for you in the rain. I'd rather be dry, but at least I'm alive. I guess somehow I knew this moment would happen. And I am so grateful to you, my dancers, my band, the whole crew, everyone, my family and friends. Safety first, love you. Thank you for the flowers and the cheers and for understanding, life matters. The Chromatica Ball Tour was Gaga's sixth headlining concert tour in her career a career that launched into stardom 14 years ago with the release of her first single, Just Dance. Earlier this year, Michael Bolton told Access Hollywood what it was like to work with Gaga right before she became a household name. I got a phone call from her record label and they said that she wanted to write with me and she had an album coming out. And I said, who is Lady Gaga? <laughs> Think of how funny that and line is so right now. So met her, we had a great writing session. We worked two nights, like, until about four in the morning. Then to finish the song, I happened to be in England at the same time she was with her mother. So I took them to dinner. And her mother started asking me these questions. And I was thinking, what, what is she? Oh, my God, she doesn't know how big her daughter's about to get. She had no idea. I, I just, it made me smile. And I just said, this is, this is going to be big. This is, this is real. But it was just like a lovely, sure. innocent, you know, but again, seeing the aspiring artist right. and knowing how long my experience was in the climb, you kind of, they're speaking to you, but you kind of hear yourself in, in them. Right. You hear your young version of yourself wanting to know more about the business. She still raves about you and talks oh, about so that, sweet. which is really neat.